Very nice. My name is Boy. What's up, guys? Another coin game. Today we're playing Indigo. Good friend of mine, been my homie since uh, Man 25. I met him, and uh, he's probably the most person I've played in non-friendly games this year. I've played him a, in a lot of friendlies, just labbing, testing out, uh, trying to just little quick games, just testing out plays, which is a worst night. And second play of the game, he has a big run right here with Jamal Charles. So that right here kind of made me mad. So I'm like, all right. Are you going to score that easy? You, I don't want you. I don't. My mass set was I don't want him getting his players across my end zone ever again in this gameplay because I was kind of upset. I was playing pretty well. Well, I was playing pretty well previously, and he just did that to me. So I'm like, okay, and we'll check out this play. This definitely should have been the pick right here, but Kamari misses the ball <laughs> entirely, and I get uh, the touchdown. I think that may have been a game changer right there, because that is a demoralizing play. I know if that happened to me, which it probably does a lot, I would have been very sad. Right there, I, I come across the uh, field, get a nice user pick with Kiko. And the thing about Indigo is I try to tell him, I mean, I'm not the best player in the world, so, so don't, I won't even say I am, but when he calls his plays, he usually stares at one guy, and if that one guy isn't open, then later on he will go through his progression. I told him that's really not how you play, and that's why you uh, make a lot of mistakes. I'm just used to him playing, so I know how to read him and uh, very well. Like I said, I've played him the most. Uh, this year and I think the most person I've played in coin games this year is too nice the, my homie uh, Jake anyways back to the game I'm up 14 to 7 right here and I'm just trying to keep to keep my streak going I've been winning uh, a lot of coin games lately and I'm just trying to keep that going especially on the channel almost at the end of the first he's coming he's his has nothing across the middle tries to go deep but we have a commodity of our own and he drops that interception kind of a bad animation look like he was kind of backwards right there i don't know what i was doing kind of got kind of stopped right there and he's so right now he's running these four verticals so if he decides to keep running that i will make uh, adjustments to try to stop that Four verticals is a pretty good play right there come on you have got to catch that that is a pick six that would put us up 21 7 right there i said a nice little b gap get a nice sack and make him settle for some points like i said guys i told you i don't want him getting back into my end zone until the next video leave it on bell my makeshift screen hit the back juke i'm getting some whoopsies some okie doke and uh we're looking pretty good on offense, I have to say. I'm moving the ball pretty well, except, uh, at least at least passing wise. I did trying to run the ball. I believe he's running his four six in. If my stupid lineman doesn't get out of my way, I can at least scramble for first down. Right here, bad read by me. It should have been an interception. But I'm just go ahead and settle for my field goal. Up ten to seventeen, and if I'm not mistaken, I get ball at the end of half. So if we keep this up, things will be looking pretty good. Second and three, he hits his. Uh, tight end who's just sitting there all by himself on the on the curl route just with nobody around him my uh defensive lineman couldn't get off the blocks to be able to get a sack on the quarterback i think he's using uh peyton manning if i'm not sure and the kickley drops another interception kind of swatted that down mario williams is in the game he's my backup and he gets a nice sack for us so he's passing me the ball right here since he sends a nice edge heat man andrew luck he's a beast that he is just shrugs it off and we're able to hit uh, Josh Gordon just sitting by himself for a decent game. So I had another play hit a streak right up the field. And I'm already in field goal range. <laughs> so uh, there's no need to be greedy. And especially in the coin game, I'm going to just go ahead and take my points. That was a 55-yard field goal. My kicker is Matt Prater. Whatever his overall is, I can't remember at this time. And right there, the Dem Marius got rocked. Literally, his brain is shaking. Probably, if that was a man, he would have had a concussion. Try to hit them with some oh, whoopsies, some okie doke. Nothing happened, and he's just hit sticking me all kinds of crazy. So I'm just going to settle for another field goal. Three straight field goals in a row. Definitely in coin games, you definitely want touchdowns. 
you don't really want to settle for field goals, but if you could take field goals, if you believe in the stopping, you're, you're stopping your opponent's offense, then hey, by all means necessary, those points will accumulate into a uh, second possession drive. I probably maybe should have been a fumble. Club Mac destroys Jamal Charles, frags himself, and get that boy off the field. He's injured. Second and 13, nice pass to Kellen Winslow. Third and four, give me that. Brian Cushing. Boy, get your yellow self a bumblebee wearing helmet in the end zone. Get a little style. Nothing but love for Indigo. No disrespect. 31-10. And to me, the game is basically over. It's only 21-0. If, 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 if I get the ball back, that's basically old man rules. 21 pop. That is game over. Right now, he's trying to go deep. I don't know what he was thinking. I was double coverage. Probably should have. He's no, no need to really go too deep. And right there, drop interception by Devin McCourty. 4 for 19, he gets a comeback route in. Look where the ball was and here his feet was. I definitely thought that was a first down. I guess the ball was before the marker, but his feet looked like they were uh, uh, past the marker. I don't know, it was a risky call, but I got it. I threw it right at his neck. I threw that because his user was behind my tight end, so I didn't think that he had the angle to be able to, to intercept that pass. And right now, basically, I'm just trying to run off the clock. <laughs> Pretty good game. Hit a nice little screen right here, and and this score is ugly. 38-0. <laughs> he goes ahead and quits. And hey, skip fucking battle.